What's up everybody, Camero here, and welcome to part 40 of my How to Make a Pokemon Game tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to be looking at how to share our game with other people so they can play it. There are two ways that I want to discuss. The first way requires a little bit less effort and gets your game out the door pretty quick. The second way requires a little more effort, but it makes your game a little safer so people can't mess with the files as much. With that said, let's get into it. So, uh, we've got our game open right here, but since we're going to be sharing our game with other people, we're going to close it down, and what we're going to do is look at our game folder. So, this is our game folder right here, and this, I've made one copy and another copy. If you are going to be sharing your game with other people, you should absolutely be making a copy of your game. So, for example, let's say this is your game, and you've done, you've worked on it, you've worked hard, you've made a great game. The first thing that you should do before modifying this in any way is copy it and paste it somewhere else as a backup. You definitely don't want to modify your game and screw it up so that way you can't edit it again. So, cool. What we've got here is our copy 1, and on copy 1 I'll be using method 1, and on copy 2 I'll use method 2. So first, let's talk about method 1, which is a method that I use, but is kind of sloppy. Right here, essentially all I do is, I go into this folder, I click on the game.rx proj, and I delete it. Boink! So what that does is it makes it so that way people who download my game can't open it in RPG Maker. There's other ways that people probably could if they copy everything over to another like new RPG Maker project. Um, but yeah, that's basically like that's what I did for Summit Trials. It's kind of sloppy, but it gets the job done. And what you can do then, you don't have to do this, but what you can do is right click and compress it into a RAR. And this takes a little bit of time, but uh, if you don't have WinRAR, it's free to download, and it'll be necessary to extract a lot of people's projects. So, if you plan on being involved in the Pokemon fan game community, either by community, either by playing other fan games or making fan games of your own, you should probably have WinRAR installed on your computer. But anyway, this takes a little while. I'll cut to when it's done. All right, so now that our file is done compressing into a RAR, this is ready to be uploaded onto the internet. But before I start talking about the upload process, I want to talk about method two, which I think you'll find very interesting. What I'm using here is an RPG Maker Encryptor jar created by Zeriab, and I have the link to this will be in the description. If you can't run jar files, you need Java installed on your computer, when there will also be a link to that in the description. But essentially, what you do is you go into your folder after you download the jar, copy it, go into your game folder, paste it, and then double click it to run it. And then it'll ask you what type you are encrypting for. We are encrypting for RPG Maker XP, so click on that, and what it'll do now is start to create in a uh, compression folder. It's called RGSSAD. I'm trying to remember exactly what term is used for it, but what it does is it packs a lot of your data and graphics files into a neat little compressed uh, file that other people typically can't crack. There is a way to crack it, but for the general layman, most people won't be digging around in it. So, the encryption is completed, it takes a little bit, and then that message will pop up saying encryption completed, sorry. Let me bring it back, cool. So here it is. It is 281 megabytes, and it is all of our data, graphics, and PBS files. So what we can do, check this out. If we run game.exe, it'll run just fine. There won't be any issues with any of the scripts and stuff. I can actually go into our data now, select it, select our graphics, select our PBS, Delete all of those as well. You can delete them now. I mean, this is why we're making a backup also, because if you delete all of those folders and then try to work on your project again, you'll be kind of hosed. Like right now, since I've deleted them, I actually can't open the RPG Maker project again. So only do this when your game doesn't need to be edited again, or only do this with a backup. I must reiterate that. You don't want to screw yourself. Don't shoot yourself in the feet here, people. Anyway, now that I've got the RGSAD though, or the uh, RGSSAD, Game.exe will still run just fine. We can't edit it, but we can run it. Because we still have all of our compressed files. So awesome. So here I am playing my game, even though I just deleted the data, the PBS, and the graphics. So this is a neat little trick that you can do to actually reduce the file size of your games, because it's all compressed in this little ball as well as make it so people can't really go in and mess around with your stuff. 
I am of the camp where I believe that leaving them available is kind of good. So if somebody wants to get into your graphics files, they can. But some of you might say, hey, I don't want people going in and going into the PBS and modifying the wild encounters. So this is the method for you. You're going to want to do this. So now that I've got the RGSA, RGSSAD and the game runs, we can do what we did before. We can compress it into a RAR. Although this is not necessary, what you can do is zip it or just upload the folder as is you know you don't you might not need to compress but check it out this game folder right here let me see what the size is 386 is this 386 also does it not really save us that much 385 whoa it saved one megabyte <laughs> I guess it's not really that big on um, saving size it's more of an issue of just making the files inaccessible anywho I'll compress this into a RAR as well and then I'll be back to talk to you about where to upload these files so I'm gonna cut right now all right cool so now that the RAR files of our game 1 copy and game 2 copy have been completed let me show you where to upload them on the internet so my place of choice is Google Drive because what you can do here is actually upload uh, and have backups in Google Drive which is kind of cool and have different versions that you can fall back on but there's also Mediafire there's also Mega Upload in fact you could probably just drop your RAR into Discord and have people be able to download it from there but if you want to create a shareable link these are the two options that I'm gonna go with right now for today's video so what you want to do is uh, excuse me let me close that what you want to do is go and find your RAR in this case let's copy game copy to RAR actually no, let's go game copy one that's the one that I'll do and what we can do is let's just drop it right in and then it'll start uploading my internet's okay so it'll take two minutes but two minutes is a lot of time in the video so once once again I'm gonna cut right here so now that the file is completed what you can do is you can just right click it and go to get shareable link cool now link sharing is on for this item you can just copy it control C and now you can paste this link anywhere and people can click that and download your game so that's pretty sweet now you can do the exact same thing on Mediafire. You just drop it in and then it'll start uploading. So I'll do that right now. And basically you'll do the exact same thing. I don't need to show you the entire upload because what you can do is you can just click on the link and that'll copy it to your clipboard once the file is done. And then you can paste that um, and people will be able to download your game also from that link. So you can give people multiple options such as like what I did in Pokemon Summit Trials. Go to the top, you can see the Mediafire link, Google Drive link, give people options to download your game so that is a very easy way that you can take your game and put it up on the internet and give it to people so once you have the link you can email it to people you could private message it to people this link is what they need to access your game and it's that easy I'm gonna put the links for Mediafire and Google Drive for this game in the description as well so feel free to download my tutorial game project and mess around with it I guess um, but yeah, I hope this episode helped you out. If you have any other questions, let me know. Um, if you have made a complete Pokemon game or just a demo, go to relickcastle.com. They've got pages for that. You can um, create your own post and let people download your game and get feedback and or just send it to your friends if you only care about that. Um, yeah, Mediafire, Google Drive, you know, compress your files. It's, it's, that, it's not that crazy complicated, you know? So I hope this episode helped you out. Uh, definitely be sure to follow on Twitch and Twitter. You know, subscribe to my YouTube channel and um, join the Thundaga Discord. If you have any questions, be sure to ask. Be, be free to ask me. I mean, you're free, sorry, to ask me any question you want on Discord or Twitter. And uh, I'll do my best to respond. I'm kind of a busy guy, though. Uh, you know, overtime at work, blah, blah, blah. You know, excuses and whatnot. But yeah, once again, I hope this episode helps you out. If you have any other questions, be sure to send them my way, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.